Hey everyone, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games. Today is June the 16th or 17th. We're on the 16th today, 2014. This video is about a website called appanny.com. Probably a lot of you have heard about this one. Uh, AppAnnie is a great site for checking things like uh, App Store ranking, like for your game or application, uh, to see other game rankings. Um, it's also a site that has a paid feature where you can get more insights and intelligence for what other games are making in terms of revenue. Uh, and it's also a website that allows you to connect your like, iTunes account, and Google Play account, uh, and Amazon account so that it can download all the data into one place so that you can go to one website and you can see all of your games, downloads, reviews, uh, rankings, uh, revenue through in-app purchases, and you can also connect ad networks as well. Uh, but what I'm going to mention today is actually the new ASO, App Store Opt Optimization or SEO feature. Now, I'm not an expert at this, guys. I've only just uh, dipped into this website literally this past half an hour, one hour. But I wanted to make a video and sort of share what I've discovered already uh, because we're focusing much more on marketing now. And we, we recently just took on two marketing staff, one for Panda Tap and one for Cobble Play. So this is really also for you guys out there as well. So... Um, it's an easier way to sort of share information rather than kind of emailing or, or talking through things. Uh, but hopefully people find this useful uh, anyway. But so uh, first thing I do when I go into appani.com is I click on the analytics uh, tab up here. And then all I'm going to do is just select, select one of the games. Uh, in this case, what I've selected here is um, uh, the second account that we've got, which is... Uh, uh, actually under my wife's name and then you escape sometimes so these are all the games listed here uh, if you want to enter your account details I think you just need to go up to like apps or uh, user settings something like that and you can select account and then you have to put in your account details it is the the App Store account email and password but Appani is a fully trusted site I 100% I trust them so when I put my password in there I don't uh, I don't worry um, so anyway, so this is the game. Uh, what this page is to say is, so it is allows you to track your ranking of the searches that you're trying to rank for, okay? So let's take, for example, this game is called You Escape Sometimes, okay? What I've tried to do is I've tried to, when we put keywords in, I've tried to rank for the game called Sometimes You Die, which was a popular game, um, on iPhone, I think it came out roughly one month ago or two months ago, and it was number one or two in the paid section, okay? Uh, what I've done is I've just entered the keywords into this section here. I've gone down to the bottom. I've clicked you escape, uh, sorry, uh, I've added in you die sometimes, clicked add it, and then it's come up here. Now, it shows me that we're rank number two at the moment, which is great, but it's not showed me the history because I've only just entered it right now into the into app banning. So that's why you just see number two here, but, and it also says new. Okay. The other one that we tried to rank for for this game was hardest game ever. Okay. And if I click on it here, I'm clicking on this, uh, this checkbox, you can see the rank history right from the release date. So that's great because what app Annie has done is it's, it's when I've added that, um, uh, when I've added this application to App Annie, I think what's happened is it's dragged in the keywords and then it's made different combinations of keywords so it's tracked the ranking of the of that um, it's tracked the ranking of that game in the App Store um, and in this case what we've what I've done is I've added hardest game ever into the keywords uh, but also you can see it's in the title as well as hardest game ever yeah in the in the actual title of the application and I started off roughly there, we were at 28, and we've gone down to 30. We've gone up a little bit uh, after when we did a little bit of marketing there on the 24th and 25th. So it's gone a little bit higher. And right now we're in position 24, okay? So this is great data. This is shows me exactly the rank of our game if somebody types in hardest game ever. And I'll, I'll show you why would we want to rank for that game. Well, in this situation, this game is a hard game. And it's the type of game people who like hardest game ever or the world's hardest game will probably like this type of game as well, all right? Here on my device, I've gone to the uh, App Store search and I'm just going to type in H-A and I don't think hardest game ever appears. There's the search results so far and I'm going to type in R. 
Okay, and then hardest game ever appears at the top there. So that's like a tier three level search. Do you know what I mean? I've, have, I had to, I've had to type in three letters for that search to appear. If I just typed in H and hardest game ever appeared at the top, that means that a lot of people are currently searching for that game. So it might not be the best search result to rank for, but right now I think it's, it's kind of relevant. And also we've got hardest game ever two there as well, you see. Okay, I'll show you another example, guys. Uh, this is, by the way, this is iPhone, this is iPad. It also works for Google Play. I've not checked Amazon right now, um, but uh, Google Play just has one. There's no two columns. There's no I iPhone and iPad or tablet and, and uh, uh, handset. It's just one, uh, one column, okay? So let me just turn off hardest game ever. Uh, Geometry Dash. So as you can see here, Geometry Dash, we were pretty high in the search rank initially. And we've kind of dropped down over time, which is pretty normal for iPhone. That kind of happens often. Uh, we got a slight bump here when we did some marketing as well. We went from position 51 to position 42. If we're not sort of in the top 10, then it might not be, uh, it'll be pretty difficult to get downloads for this search. But the cool thing is about the feature in AppAnna here, it shows you how many results there are as well. There's 105, okay? Now, do we know if this is a, a high search term at the moment? Well, we can look in the App Store again, all right? So if I just delete out the search and type in the letter G, you can see, I think it pops up in the first one. It's actually number four, okay? So people are searching for Geometry Dash all over the place, okay? And if I click on Geometry Dash there, uh, it should show me the number of results at the bottom as well, okay? And we're in position 70 there. You can see that on the on the ranking there, and it's actually tracked it as well, which is very cool. Sorry, this this is being very very slow at the moment. I'll I'll leave it. But yeah, Geometry Dash is a very high rank search term right now. So if we were in position, you know, four or five, or even the top 10 for that search, we'd probably get more organic downloads as well, meaning that people would uh, find our game as well just because they were looking for Geometry Dash. So that's a very that's a very good one to rank for. Uh, there's a bunch of other keywords that we what we could test out here, and I added a lot of keywords into into our iTunes uh, keyword section. So trying to get as many combinations as possible. Uh, I'll show you on iPad as well. So geometry dash, and I'll click on here geometry dash. We're actually position 66 here for uh, rank 66 today for geometry dash, and there's 98 results as opposed to 105. But you can see the ranking kind of correlates pretty closely there, you know, in terms of the trend that's sort of going down over time. Um, so that could be something to focus on, you know, trying to get ranked higher for the keyword for the search term Geometry Dash and also Hardest Game Ever 2 and Hardest Game Ever. So if I click on these as well, and I don't want to make this screen too complicated, let me turn off Geometry Dash. Um, I'm just going to look at the blue one, so Hardest Game Ever 2. We're actually rank 10 there uh, hardest game ever iPad we're actually rank number 20 right there but I still think we'd need to be in the top 10 so this is a very cool feature anyway uh, I'll show you how to how to add in the keywords guys I think uh, if I try this if I go hardest game ever 3 which is po a possible search term and click add it then it should appear in these results here and I'll just turn off all the other chart data. Um, yeah, it's gonna, it says loading for just a moment. I think when I refresh it in a second, it should be fine. Uh, I'll show you this quickly though, guys. If you click on manage your keywords, at the moment it looks like App Annie only gives you um, 100 search terms to enter into their site. And I've used nine out of 100 right now. Uh, you can see in our other game, uh, Wrong Way Dodge, I've, I've tried to rank for Wrong Way Racing, uh, so that's used up one. Uh, our other game, Wave Light, I've tried to rank for Wave Wave. Stay Alive as well. Stay Alive was actually a suggested search term by App Annie. That's very cool. So I didn't enter this search term into App Annie. It came up, and I'll show you this in a moment, okay? Staying Alive is also something that it ranked us for. It, it was, sorry, it was a suggested uh, search term. And that didn't go towards this 9 out of 100. Uh, it was already in that list. But when I, when I wanted to pin it, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute, it stays in there and counts as, uh, as, a, as a use. Okay, So you can see here I've got Geometry Dash, Hardest Game Ever 3, and Hardest Game Ever 2. 
So I'll close this down. I'll just refresh this and see if uh, jump it, see if hardest game of three now appears. Because as you can see in in this case in the two columns, it doesn't know that we're actually trying to rank for hard, hardest game of three. It's not considered that to be uh, a search term inside of. Uh, the iPhone or iPad. So AppAni is not giving us a lot of suggested search terms, but it is a great way to track the overall ranking, just like they do in sites like Sensor Tower and I think Searchman as well. Uh, but in this case, it's free, which is very cool. Okay. So uh, hardest game ever three. We're actually ranking position three and position three, but we're not getting huge amount of downloads on this game at the moment. So uh, if I show you the downloads. So sometimes we die with two, hardest game ever with position three, both on iPhone and iPad, uh, but the downloads per day are not very, very high. So maybe focusing on that search term doesn't help very much. As you can see here, we've got an average download of maybe 100 to 150. Uh, you know, we've dropped down here to around 80 to 100 over on the right hand side. So maybe ranking high for hardest game ever two and hardest game ever three is not having a good impact because we're already positioned two and three for that one. Maybe ranking higher for the search term Geometry Dash will have a stronger impact because as I showed you before on the device, it is a more searched uh, term right now because when I type G, only one letter, it appeared higher. Okay, so that's, that's my kind of thinking. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, please let me know what you think, guys. So I'll go over to Wave Lite now and I'll, I'll end this video in a moment. I don't want to make it too long because my, uh, my computer kind of runs out of memory when I do this. Uh, but this is Wave Lite, and this is Google Play, as you can see the store over here. Um, these, this staying alive search term here, uh, stay alive, these two were already in the, the suggested terms here. So as you know, Google doesn't have that, that one word and then comma, one word and comma keyword section. The keywords are a part of the description. So I think this is why it's given suggested uh, keyword searches because it doesn't know what you're actually trying to rank for. But this is very, very cool, like like Line Arcade. I, I don't even know what Line Arcade is, but we're position 86 and we've jumped five places. I think this is a one day update. So we're up, um, you know, compared to yesterday. Uh, Solange, I have no idea what that is. And I don't even think we're actually inside of, I don't think that's a keyword either. Um, but we're position 72 up from 111, which is a great jump. So I don't know if this is week to week or this is day to day, but it's nice to see a lot of green triangles here. Uh, moving lines we also rank for, this is new as well. So it looks like Google Play over time takes a little bit more, uh, takes a bit more time to rank for keywords or maybe a few weeks later it begins to add you to searches because Google Play has this like slower trend of upgrades, slower trend of ranking than iPhone, which has this sort of like huge jump and then it comes right down, okay? But this is very interesting. So triangle lines, I don't know what this is. Um, hot thumbs, I've never heard of that one either. I don't even know if, if this is in the, if this is inside of the description, I can't remember. Um, but it's good to sort of go into, you know, I can go into Google Play here and I can type in hot thumbs and I can see if we, uh, if we do indeed rank for this, I don't know if we will or won't. Sorry, I've spelled that wrong there, it's T-H-U-M-B-S. So I have no idea. It says it says that we do rank for this game Hot Thumbs and we're actually position 20, uh, position 55 uh, and we've jumped 21 places. I think that's what it means. And I've only just come into this guys right now, so sorry I'm not you know fluent on what's going on. I'm just gonna scroll down and there we are. Uh, I'll do a quick count, so we're 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, uh, 54, I couldn't think, 53, so position 53, uh, and that's correct, I think maybe this has just been delayed by a day or so, or, uh, but position 55, 53, that is about right. Uh, and it can also show you here the number of results, so 250 is the maximum number of results that can appear in Google Play, I believe, okay. So, this is really good information. I've just jumped into this now and I'm trying to you know, figure out like this shadow runner game. It's given it as a keyword here, a keyword search term. If I go into Google and try and see if that appears, it might not actually appear, but um, I'm on the website here. I'm not actually on the, I'm not actually on the device as you can see, but shadow runner free, 
we're positioned 189 and we've jumped 200, uh, 22 places. So we're pretty low right now, of course, in this one. I don't know if this is a popular search term though. On Google Play, it's a little bit harder to figure out search terms. You can't just type in one letter on Google Play. You have to type in four letters to see what the uh, results are. So here we are as well. So that's pretty low down. It's not going to be very effective. Okay. So anyway, uh, back to these top points. So this staying alive, uh, what we can do here, this is a suggested search. Audio Surf is an independent game, which is like a music sort of uh, geometry style game. Uh, very, very cool little game. And that's, uh, that's been around for a, a number of years. It's a suggested search. So it doesn't go towards that 100 counter that we have. But if I want to keep it, because this might disappear tomorrow, it might not appear as a search. If I just click on this pin here, it will then keep it as a uh, suggested search. Sorry, it will then keep it as a search inside of the um, inside of the website. Baby, baby, I'm making a video. Could you please just go out a second? Sorry, guys, we've got people talking over there. Um, so. Sorry guys, sorry about that. It's uh, my wife and her mum sort of chatting away in a language I don't understand at all either. Um, anyway, so audio surf is now pinned, okay? And if I go down to manage, all, manage your keywords, you can see now that audio surf is there and it's added one. You see before it was nine and now I've used 10. Uh, and I think if I didn't pin that, if I didn't click this pin here, that search term might go away if I update the keywords. Maybe, maybe. I didn't find a help section on this inside of App Annie, okay? Uh, but let's click off. Well, staying alive is, um, sorry, I, sorry, this video isn't very smooth, guys. I'm, I'm not, uh, um, uh, I've not sort of like planned out this video very well. Uh, I think staying in the line was, was also a search that we were trying to rank for. Uh, maybe yes, maybe no, I'm not sure. Okay, we are there, but we are pretty low for that one. Uh, wave Wave was definitely one we were trying to rank for. But let's click on Audio Surf anyway. Uh, and there you go, it's held the data for a few days. If I had a brand new search in here right now, like Wave Jump or something, then it wouldn't appear with this line, uh, this history data, because it was never... Uh, Appani never considered that the game was trying to rank for this search term. I think that's the way it works anyway. Either way, once you add it in there, you will get the tracking, I believe, from, you know, forever, so long as you keep the keyword in there. So Audio Surf, we jumped the other day on the 14th, which was a Saturday, uh, came down to 24 on a Sunday, I guess, yeah. Um, let's take a look at Wave Wave, which is what this game is inspired by. Uh, and we're not actually ranked at the moment, as you can see, we're out for this one right now. And that is because if you go into Google Play and you type Wave Wave, uh, there's a million results in there. So even though we wanted to rank for this game, the actual search term Wave Wave might not be anything that we try to focus on in terms of trying to rank for keywords. Okay? Uh, but I wanted to share this with you guys anyway because I wanted to do more videos. And I also, uh, it's, this is a good way for me to share with some of the new staff with us as well. So great to share this with you guys also. And it's a lot easier to sort of demonstrate rather than, um, you know, trying to like talk through it over a call. So uh, anyway, guys, I hope this is useful. Please let me know if I've done this right or wrong or if there's anything that you think I've missed out or any major points that you think um, from this app Annie page that I, that I and everybody else should know about. So please comment and let me know. Uh, thank you for all the comments as well, guys. Thanks for all the questions and emails that you sent me. My apologies again and again and again for not replying. Uh, I do hope one day I can devote a lot more time to, to building up the channel and also a uh, how to make mobile games website. Uh, but please like this video, give it a big thumbs up, tap the button down there. Please subscribe if you have not, that help, just helps support the channel. And uh, catch me with any comments and it'll be great to hear from everyone. Have a great week everyone, happy developing, bye bye.